Happening now as I speak, the National Social Security Fund Management Team, led by the Acting Managing Director Patrick Ayota, is set to interfere with the select committee set up by Parliament to probe the alleged mismanagement at the fund. The issue of concern pertains to the appointment of the top leadership of the fund and the safety of the workers' money that has had the investment decisions by management questioned. Without necessarily expanding its network. The fund has partnered with banks and bank agents to enable collection of contributions. Unions have several members, and therefore, this is a catchment area for the fund to tap into, as not all union members are registered with the fund. This is the genesis for the MOU with COF2. In fact, we began discussions between both KNO2 and COF2, I believe, in August. Uh, we, we held a meeting with them because at that point we realized if we're going to want them to be, be able to deliver, we need to kind of have a different type of relationship which would have accountability and basically deliverables and results that we would count on. However, to actualize the MOU, the eight parties have to agree on targets and ways to measure the partnership. On 12-14, Dr. Lumok wrote to the fund how much was given to COFTA as a result. The fund received the letter from COFTU and that is the practice. A request for funding made to the fund does not mean that the funds are released. The fund did not act on the letter, and no monies were dispersed to COFTU. How does NSF handle other stakeholders? Our stakeholder management policy defines how we handle stakeholders. Section 5 of the fund stakeholder management policy spells this out. We seek partnership with stakeholders who command influence and are highly interested in the fund. We engage stakeholders who command power but are not highly interested in the fund. We keep informed stakeholders who are highly interested in the fund, but do not have any influence at all. Was the six billion approved? The matter of the six billion was presented to the board. The board directed management to prepare detailed activities and work plan and budget support the intended objective. On November 25th, 2022, there was a consultative meeting with the board, senior management, and attended by the Honorable Minister of Gender, Labor, and Social Development, in which a draft work plan was presented. A directive was given to management to refine the plan to be presented to the board for its consideration and endorsement. This is still pending. How did DMD become acting MD? DMD was appointed by the board on 1st December 2022 to caretake the office of the managing director pending substantive appointment of an MD as per section 39 of NSF Act as amended. This was after the board received and considered the minister's letter asking the board to oversee an interim arrangement for the current DMA to act as the managing director until the office substantially filed. We've actually provided these letters also to the committee. 